In today's video, I'm going to give you a full beginner's guide to the stamped product reviews and UGC Shopify app. So let's get right into it. Now, the first thing you need to do is go to the link in the description and click that. Once you've done that, it should take you to this page here. And from there, you can click on the install button and this should install the app onto your Shopify store. So click this button here, which says install. And then you should be ready to go. OK, so here we are inside of the app. And the first thing we want to go to is the home page here. And it should take a second load. And this section here is just basically going to tell you all of the different features that the app offers based upon the plans. So you can go ahead and select the plan that's best for you. So the first thing we're going to look at is actually adding the reviews to your store. So we can go to the reviews section here. We can click on all reviews. And this is going to go ahead and show you reviews that people have actually put onto products and stuff like that. From here, you can look at all reviews. You can look at unread, pending, published, unpublished, archived and flagged. It's really simple as well. Once you see a review here, you can click on it and it can it'll make a pop up here so you can actually unpublish it. You can go ahead and archive it. You can share it. You can add photos to it. You can um, add a reply to it if you've got some kind of comment. Um, you can change the product that it was on and you can even go ahead and delete it if you want to. So you can do all of that inside of this section here. Now to actually go ahead and import reviews which is something a lot of people want to do, you want to go to settings and you want to go down to where it says importer and here we go. So the importer you can go ahead and click reviews and you can either import from any of these apps or you can import from custom. Now to import from custom, there's going to be a little a thing that's down here that says download this example file. If you click that, this is going to give you a CSV file. You can open this file up inside of Google Sheets and we can edit that so that um, the reviews show up in bulk. Because I'll show you how to do that now quickly. So here we are in Google Sheets. I've gone ahead and opened it up. And first thing first, we're going to have the product ID. Now to get our product ID, we need to go to our Shopify store. And we want to go over to products and then we want to click on the product we want to add. So let's say this one here and you'll see in the bar up here on the URL bar, it says products and then there's like a long code of numbers here. That is going to be your product ID. So copy that across and paste that in there. Product title, I'd recommend just grabbing it from the title here, paste it in there. Product URL, I'd recommend going ahead and um, finding the URL for the product page so you can either do that by previewing or you can go onto your live site and click on it you can go ahead and just copy that I've got like a million pop-ups on the store right now let's copy that and paste that in here for the product URL now for the product image URL you can go ahead and uh, copy one from the store or you can add a different one it's up to you now next up we have the rating so this is out of five we have the review title so this is the title of the person's review. Author is the author is the person's name, so you just put a name in there. Email is the customer's email, and then body is the text on the review. And then you've got the created date, which needs to be formatted like this, which is um, in this way here. Then you've got a reply, so you can reply if you want to, and then finally have you you have your reply at date. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and you can download this as a CSV. Then we can go back into stamped and we can click select file and we can drag it in we can hit upload and you can see one review has been successfully imported now you've also got manual review requests so you can go ahead and import um, basically emails and stuff like that if you want to but you can see here this is the review that we've just um, got we don't just made we can go ahead and we can publish that by pressing on the eye icon and it should take a few seconds, but it should go ahead and publish. Next up, we're going to configure how this looks on your site. So you can go to the left hand side, go to display. You can go to main widget here, and this is going to be the main review widget. You see this is what it looks like. You can switch from mobile and desktop view. And in here, we're going to go over to customization and we can change a few things. So we've got language. We've got the way it sorts. We've got the way it loads. So you've got pagination, which basically means you can scroll and it'll keep scrolling. Or you've got load more. I, I might have got those the wrong way, but that's basically the difference. One of them is like a next button and one of them just keeps loading forever. 
reviews per page you can set that and you've got tons of different um, options here so the date format the word limit the photos you know you can turn all of these on or off and if you do that it's going to show you on the right hand side what your changes look like down here we've got the design so this is basically how it looks so you've got um, minimalist or you've got two columns profile masonry slider you really just got to pick what you like the look of but once you're ready you can hit save and that's ready to go we next have the display widgets so this is going to be what each different widget looks like. So you've got your carousel and you can um, change all the stuff in here, like the colors, the text, you've got your full page, reviews pop up, single highlight, visual gallery, wall photos, top rated, side drawer, site badge, Instagram feed, and checkout comments. And basically you can just go through each of these, see what they look like and edit them depending on what you want them to look like. You've also got your image widgets here, so stuff like your badges, and you can just configure all of these here. We've also got our form widgets, so this is your form for people to um, actually give your product a review. And then you've got another one here for like a review page. Lastly, you've got your branding here, so this is your theme colors, your logos, uh, all that kind of stuff. And on the right hand side, you're going to see what it looks like at the end end product I guess you could say. Now to go ahead and actually make the widget show up on your store is pretty easy. We want to go onto themes, so online store themes and we want to go to customize and you can go onto where it says app embeds here on the left hand side and if you want to you can turn these on. So you've got your side draw, your reviews pop up and your net promoter score. You can turn those on if you want to. Um, or what you can do is you can go into a specific product so let's say this lamp here we can go in here and we can go down to uh, add block we can go across to apps and then here we've got all of our stamped widgets so we've got our double our badge double our badge ribbon all the way from carousel full page whatever the ones you probably want to use is main widget and also you might want to use product rating so product rating is going to be the stars and this should show up and then um, main widget is going to be the writer review section down here basically. Now for these to actually show up you're going to have to go ahead and give your API key and your store hash so click on the widget here go over to this button here that says stamp dashboard and open it up and this is going to give you your API keys so give it a second to load and you can see this is my API key, my store hash. I can copy these, paste them in there, press save, and I should go ahead and now work as a uh, dynamic thing. So this should show up with dynamic reviews, basically. But that is basically how you go about using the Stamped Reviews app for Shopify. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below. That helped you out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.